everyone and hello YouTube this is Mia with ES Market News and I'm here to bring you the latest news and updates on blockchain today now for this video guys we'll talk about an article by Thomas Cox of NTRM executive director of the EOS Alliance entitled yes EOS is a blockchain but first guys before we go to the article I would just like to promote our newspaper our newsletter that you can subscribe by going to the website here preferredcurrency.news now it's very easy to um, subscribe guys all you just have to do once you're in the website is scroll down and click on the link PayPal where you can pay 15 US dollars per month on a recurring basis or you can also pay at Coinbase for only $180 per year with your favorite crypto handled by Coinbase. And after you do that, you start to receive our newsletter 12 hours ahead of our broadcast here on YouTube. And for you guys to see a glimpse of what our newsletter looks like, this is the current issue now on each issue would contain different articles for each day and of course we have different links links to websites that you guys should look into and we'll go um to each one after we've read the article so with no further ado let's go to the article um by thomas cox here eos Yes, EOS is a blockchain. We at the EOS Alliance are delighted to get poked, prodded, and challenged because we are, to use Nassim Taleb's term, anti-fragile. As a community, technology, and a platform, EOS gets stronger from such stimulation. And we have just been stimulated by a provocative paper released by White Block last week. A humble suggestion. White Block collected an impressive list of Ethereum resources to help with the paper, but they only recruited Ethereum folks for the project. That now looks like a mistake. The researchers not only didn't uh, collaborate with anyone who is deeply intimate with the EOS code base, they also didn't vet their preliminary findings with anyone with the knowledge to point out mistakes. As a result, their paper contains numerous errors, some quite basic or they define an EOS epoch as 1 to 6 blocks when it's been 252 since before lunch, making the paper confusing for readers who might not be familiar with the intricacies of blockchain technologies. While the EOS community fully digests and evaluates the white block paper, there are a few misunderstandings that we can immediately clear up so that we can have a more thoughtful discussion and analysis. Throughput numbers White block is convinced that EOS, based on their lab tests and assumptions, Transaction throughput in the system does not exceed 250 TPS or transactions per second and asserted that in tests with real-world conditions, performance dropped below 50 TPS. Much like the mythical aerodynamics expert who proved that bumblebees cannot fly, the white block researchers might want to heed the advice given to every budding scientist. Quoting, when the facts contradict your theory, you need a new theory, end quote. You see, EOS and other graphene-based blockchains routinely show performance approaching 4,000 TPS in actual daily production operations. Or, I humbly submit that the real world must be considered more la uh, real than tests with real world conditions. Now here on the left side, is um is a blocktivity.info report now it was last updated um last november 5th 2018. notice where bitcoin is it is on number five notice where ethereum is which is a number six this is a list of actual users of blockchains not just people talking about the blockchain or pitching the blockchain or hyping it they're actually using it 
the number 1, 2, 3, and 4 most used or and arguably most currently useful blockchains have in common. 1. They all share the same graphene code. Number 2 is EOS and number 1 is a fork of EOS. They are all forks of graphene and thus all the direct or indirect creations of EOS architect Dan Larimer. Number 2. They all have real business use cases, staying power and now traction. 3. None of them are from a Fortune 1000 company or government. Here. Is EOS a blockchain? Yes, just as much as Bitcoin is. The EOS are the authors claim that EOS is not a blockchain and justify that statement by conflating the general definition of a blockchain with some specific features of Ethereum. EOS core developer Wandering Board responding to the claim quoting all of these actions operate in an environment that lacks cryptographic validation of the contracts and transactions and quote called that statement misleading the only defensive or defensible aspect is that EOS IO does not commit to the materialized persisted state through something like a patria or Patricia Merkel tree. This is true. We commit to that implied state in a different way. It is worth noting that the UXTO or unspent transaction output is not explicitly committed to in Bitcoin either. It is a materialized view of the state deterministically implied by the chain. If you search for UXTO commi commitments, you can see that they are an addition to the core protocol that gives extra properties, not validity or safety. EOS IO is the same with, this, with its state. So, if that is the defensible definition, then Bitcoin is also not using cryptography to validate transactions and results and code. What wandering board is saying is Ethereum differs in how it commits transactions to the implicit state that is the current reality of the data on the chain. Neither Bitcoin nor EOS do it the way Ethereum does it. Or I would be curious how many projects that aren't Ethereum clones use the Ethereum approach to committing transactions to the materialized persisted state of the chain. And White Block wants to use this difference to claim that EOS is not a blockchain by their private definition. If White Block would like to stake out a claim that Ethereum is a blockchain, well, neither Bitcoin nor EOS are, well, we welcome the dialogue. If not, then White Block might want to admit publicly that EOS is indeed a blockchain for any meaningful definition of the term. I suggest that if a, a distributed ledger meets this criteria, it deserves to be called a blockchain. 1. A growing list of records grouped into blocks. 2. Blocks are linked using cryptography. 3. Each block contains a cryptographic hash of the previous block, a timestamp, and transaction data. 4. Transactions and blocks are validated by multiple independent devices who reach agreement via a consensus mechanism. If I'm missing a criterion, please challenge me. If I agree, I'll update this article and give you credit. In our transactions only validated by 21 nodes, the authors also appear to claim that EOS transactions are confirmed only by 21 block producers. They seem unaware of the function and implication of transactions as proof of stake or tapos, a core feature of the EOS software, as explained by user Fuzzy. The EOS.io software requires every transaction to include part of the hash of a recent block header. This hash serves two purposes. One prevents a replay of a transaction on forks that do not include the reference block, and two signals the network that a particular user and their stake are on a specific fork. 
Over time, all users end up directly confirming the blockchain, which makes it impossible to replay their transactions. To forge counterfeit chains, as the counterfeit would not be able to migrate transactions from the legitimate chain. This is because of transactions are proof of stake or tapos and makes it so very client so every client helps validate the blocks. In other words, um, each user transaction cryptographically includes the hash of a recent irreversible block as identified by their local node. This is the block that the local node agrees is valid, or every local node independently validates every transaction. Thus, the transaction A cannot be used in a replay attack on a fork that doesn't include a reversible block, and B indicates that the reference block is in fact valid and irreversible from the perspective of that local node. This is only possible because the local node validates each block as it's added to the local chain. And those local validations are then incorporated into the chain via future transactions tapos. This neatly disproves another of the author's claims that users can only access the EOS mainnet through one of the top 21 block producers. In reality, users can access through any connected API or pairing node, BP or not. Let's filter out further folly. Now that we've made our point and refuted some claims, we offer the following as filter for folly. The EOS Alliance is focused on maximizing legitimacy. As EOS fan Alex Lightman often says, Legitimacy is generated by doing three things. One, speak the truth. Two, or one is rather seek the truth. Two, speak the truth. And three, practice what you preach. We have included uh, below dozens of links to facilitate taking step one, seeking the truth, so that future critics can better take step two, speak the truth, we invite you to show to me and other members of the ES community a draft of your next critic and to let us point out mistakes before you potentially embarrass yourself in public. We'll give our comments within 72 hours and you can even quote us in your finished publish, published piece. The EOS resources are below. Welcome to the Greater EOS Community. Respectfully, Thomas Cox, Interim Executive Pre Director, EOS Alliance. Now here, below are um, the list, and um, we um, the author also um, includes dozens of lists here. We have um, EOS General. It's an EOS General chat. Non-English general channels for Arabia, Koreos, Korean, China, Romania, Russian, Russian Tradings, Italia, Spain, Somi, and it um they also have EOS test networks like EOS Jungle Test Network, EOS Crypto Killing Test Network, EOS Community Test Network, and EOS Scholar Test Network. They also have EOS developers such as EOS Index, which is a list of cur current EOS projects, EOS Developers, EOS Game Developers, EOS Docs.io or EOS Documentation, EOS Non-Fungible Token or NFT Standard, Let's Build EOS, EOS Wallet Development, EOS Education, and EOS Spanish Language Developers. They also have EOS Developer Tools and Tutorials, with these links and they also have EOS block explorers, network monitors and other publicly available data such as block blocks monitor, EOS tracker, EOS titan monitor, EOS flare, EOS queue, my EOS kit, node monitor, EOS spark and EOS go. Also here are list for EOS topic specific channels such as EOS block producers, EOS opportunities, EOS design, EOS marketing, EOS BP startups, EOS jobs, 
ESBP infrastructure, ES911, CPU emergency. Also have a list for ES channels, including our ES Go announcements, ES airdrops, Dan Larry Murbot, EOS Airdrops Hashtag 2, EOS Announcements, BP Ratings, and EOS Apps. Also here are EOS Wallet Channels such as I'm Token EOS, EOS Links, and EOS Nova.io. And they have so much more here. There. Alright guys. So that is an article by Thomas Cox. Now, what can you say about this article, guys? Share with us your opinions on our comment section below. And just like I promised earlier, I'll give you a um, walkthrough on the newsletter. And um, here, again, on each issue of the newsletter would contain different articles. And of course, we have different links that you guys should look into. Now here, we have here, um, you can advertise what you have for sale in exchange for EOS and also what you would like to buy at our website as follows. Now we have here, here is EOSmarketplace.news where um, you can place your list, listings. Now, um, actually it's um, a sheet, it's a Google sheet where um, you can type in the item you want to sell or any property that you want to uh, that are for lease in exchange for EOS. Now, um, the sheet is very accessible, guys, and um, it does not require any membership fee. All you just need to do is type in the name of the item you want to sell under the general category on column B. We just sign in here. Here in column B. Then um, here, the description or definition of the item on column C. Any link to the website for the description such as photos or images in column F. And your contact information such as phone number, email address, Skype ID, Telegram or other contact method and WhatsApp so that our buyers will know how to reach you. Again, guys, if you have anything there that you want to sell in exchange for EOS, um, go to or visit eosmarketplace.news so that you could post them here on this sheet. And of course, now, here is one great thing once you, you subscribe to our newsletter, guys, is that you get to see Donald's research list as to what he thinks are the most important coins or tokens are to be researched today based on fundamentals. Now here, let's just click here the tab and it will direct us to this another spreadsheet. Now here on column A are the names of the coins or tokens. Now take note that the red ones have negative news, orange or tan are neutral, yellow are fair, green have good news and blue shows the best news. Here on column B is the US dollar resin price. On column C, share of total market volume. On column D, Google searches compared to past seven days. On column E, 50 candle SMA movement. On column F, number of positive technical indicators. On column G, 24 hours current volume versus price. On column H, seven days weekly volume versus price. And on column I is the 30 days monthly volume versus price and also here on column J is the percent issued. Now take note that this sheet is not a recommendation for you to buy or sell crypto. But if you decide that you would like some, always consider offering about 20% below the current market price whenever you place buy limit orders. And here guys, once you're in the spreadsheet, you could always have your own copy simply by going to the left side here and find, click the word file. And then click make a copy. Now you can rename the document if you want to. After that you can click OK so that you can have your own version which you can modify to your own purposes and research. And you can also add columns 
personal notes and information to your own file copy there and here now here's another great thing for you all crypto lovers out there we have an affiliate program for you all where you can become an affiliate and earn your crypto each month now you can invest your time in our affiliate program and earn affiliate commissions for seven levels deep but here you should not post your affiliate link in public forums or comments but do it as private messages only after you chat with a friend or owner of another channel or account now it's very easy guys all you just need to do is click on the image here to enroll or you can go to the website preferredcurrency.news and go to the upper right corner and click the word affiliate then um, enroll do your first blog and there you can earn your crypto it's very easy guys and if you have other questions regarding this one you could always contact the publisher because he really wants to connect with you now um, you can contact donald the guru through the following phone number at 1-801-601-8105 whatsapp at 1-801-471-6939 telegram at preferredcurrency.news and our subscribers can follow him on twitter at preferred crypto there all right guys so here now all the information provided in this video is for your news review and educational entertainment regarding blockchain and should not be taken as financial advices because here we are not financial advisors and we highly recommend that you do your own research regarding all of the information we provided for you so that you can make decisions for yourself. This channel, Ineos Market News and the website preferredcurrency.news is simply a gathering of the rumors and research available online each day. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and um, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you liked my video and subscribe to our channel for more updates. This is once again Mia, your daily friendly broadcaster signing off and I'll see you on my next video. Until then guys, bye!